Why should anyone donate to something positive for positive people? I don't have one answer for that. In fact, I'm still trying to communicate that myself. Over the years, there have been a number of different things that I've tried to do. I've tried to raise money for people to get therapy, and that worked out for a matter of time. Over the years, I've tried group therapy sessions. I've tried yoga and just building community and trying to bring people together who are navigating the stigma of living with the herpes virus just in a way that can let people feel supported. In various surveys that I've done, what I've come to realize is that the most useful resource is the consistency of the podcast. It's the presence that I offer to people in our one-on-one conversations. It's my presence on social media, sharing anonymous uh, bits of information that people consent to me being able to share so that people get hope. My name on social media and the podcast starting out used to be H on my chest. Up front, for what it looks like, H stood for herpes. But what I've come to realize over time is that the H stood for hope because people were receiving hope of being able to go on and find love despite their diagnosis. The H stood for hype because I would hype people up for their disclosures and get them to a place of being able to communicate with their partners about their sexual health status and put themselves in position to have the kind of relationship that they want. But for me, what it's really come down to is H was for hero. The hero that I needed for myself to be is what I've become over the years to the people who look to me for various forms of support and guidance to navigate not just the component of disclosure, but to navigate the self-help element of navigating herpes stigma. So when you do donate to something positive for positive people, you're not just giving to the possibility that a person is going to just be able to disclose their herpes status. But I think all in all, what we're contributing to is the collective consciousness of individuals going forward with their own healing and becoming better human beings through this adversity that is their herpes diagnosis. So I invite you to consider making a donation by visiting www dot spfpp.org and listen to the podcast for yourself and get a feeling for what it is that we do.